Bear Talk is produced by the, the Golden Bear Gazette, Magellan High School student newspaper. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear Talk. I'm your host, Ren. I'm Molly. I'm Everett. I'm Marion. And I'm Bella. Today is a Can You Dig It takeover. And on our segment, we're going to talk about everything fashion and music. And today we're talking about our upcoming concerts, our past concerts, and concerts that we wish we could have gone to. To start things off, I'm so excited to be seeing Guns N' Roses in August at the new soccer stadium in Nashville. They've been my favorite band for like five years, and it's great to have the opportunity to see them. I've actually already seen them in Oklahoma City a few years ago, and they didn't disappoint. They still sound great after even 40 years together. I know you have quite a bit of concerts coming up too this year. I love concerts. My list at the moment is Sabrina Carpenter, Taylor Swift, Arctic Monkeys, and Beyonce. To break that down a bit, I have Sabrina and Taylor in May, Beyonce in July, and Arctic Monkeys in September. And I'm so excited for all of them. I haven't seen any of them in concert before besides Taylor Swift for her Reputation Tour in 2018, which is also my second concert ever and still one of my all-time favorites. And me and my friend love concerts, and we'll always, like, grab at the opportunity to go to one. That's why I'm not sure if that's all of our upcoming ones, because we never know what's going to come around. What's going to come around? Do you guys yeah. have any concerts coming up? Um, I'm also going to Arctic Monkeys in September. They've been my favorite band for so long, and I cried when I got the tickets. I... So excited. Oh, my gosh. I love, I love Arctic I love Monkeys. That. I was so excited. It's the day after my dad's birthday, and I was like... I have to go. <laughs> he was like, it's, it's, it's right fine. There. Yeah, exactly. I haven't been. I haven't been to an actual concert. Concert. Um, the closest I've been to is like a band concert. Have mm-hmm. y'all gone to band concerts? Um, I love here. band concerts. I love band concerts. <laughs> band, band concerts, concerts are actually loud. good. Like, but right, I like it. I should specify. No, no <laughs> school band concerts. Yeah, it's cool. It's a- um, I don't know. How do you even go about going to a concert? Is there like a place to buy tickets or like um, uh, area with all the concerts? Like, where do you? It's a good question. The um, internet. Yeah. The, the internet. internet, yeah. Or you used so to have like to go buy them in person. Yeah, you, you and they were only like five dollars. Yeah, now they're Ticketmaster. 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 <laughs> Just log on to Ticketmaster and you're like, <laughs> yeah, you wait. You if, there, yeah. if there's presale, you want to get the presale. You gotta wait in line. How do you know? It's it's tells you? So it's kind of like buying a movie ticket. Okay, uh, my first concert was Warrant and Stillheart in, like, sixth grade, and that's when I fell in love with concerts. And since then, I've seen Brantley Gilbert twice. He's my favorite country singer. And I've seen Slash with Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators, Guns N' Roses, The Pretty Reckless, Shine Down, Chase Atlantic, and Stevie Nicks, which me and Ren actually saw together. And my favorites of those were probably Guns N' Roses, The Pretty Reckless, and Brantley Gilbert. Not the one you saw with her? <laughs> No, nope. well, we were Stevie actually. Is great. Um, she's kind of lying because we weren't really together. She was in the like second row, and I was in the lawn. <laughs> we saw each other before at the hot dog stand. <laughs> That's funny. We saw each other while we were getting merch because she wanted to cut in line with me. So yeah, I did. I used her to cut in line. Hmm. We got our merch though. So we did. We got, got that tote bag. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've been to a lot of concerts in just like the past two years, so I'll give a full list. I'll give a full list. Um, Lady Gaga, Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, The Driver Era, Billie Eilish, Tame Impala, Kendrick Lamar, The Lumineers, Jack Harlow, Stevie Nicks, Steve Lacey, Lizzo, and most recently, Ashley McBride. <sighs> That's a long list. <laughs> I know. Out of all those, my favorites have probably been Tame Impala, Stevie Nicks, Kendrick Lamar, and Steve Lacey. That being said, I've loved like all of them. We're not adding commentary to that. I don't care. I don't know. 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 Yeah, Tame Impala was the. It was just the best. Like it was my first concert, and I think I've been a better person every day since. Like that. Honestly, it changed my life for the better. It was insane. Talking about concerts that we've been to makes me think about the ones that we couldn't see because they were before we were born or we just haven't been able to see them. And my top concerts slash festivals that I would love to attend were Guns N' Roses and Metallica in 92, uh, the Moscow Peace Festival, which had Bon Jovi, Skid Row, Motley Crue, and a bunch of other bands, and then either Woodstock 94, which had Aerosmith and Metallica, or Woodstock 69, which had Janis Joplin and the Grateful Dead. Concerts I wish I could have seen is, like, it's, it's a hard question. There are probably a lot, but I'll, I'll talk a little bit. Um, specifically, I wish I could have been at the Fleetwood Mac reunion concert for the yes. dance in 1997. 
Uh, every se clip I've like seen of it has been amazing, and uh, I wish I could remember. Stevie Nicks, though. <sighs> at, le at least I saw Stevie Nicks. I know. Um, other good ones would be Pink Floyd, Nirvana, Fiona Apple, Jeff Buckley, and Billy Joel, uh, which are all ones I probably would never be able to see. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, Funny thing is, I could see Billy Joel, because him and Stevie Nicks are coming to Nashville for a concert. I saw that. But it happens to fall on the same night of graduation. I'd rather go, and, I'd rather see Stevie Nicks. And so <laughs> Sorry, I'm, Everett. I'm, I'm choosing graduation over it, so I do have my friend is going, and so I'm like, I'm she jealous, videos for you. I know. I'm just relying on that. So. Are you not bringing up Brianna? Because <laughs> my line was no, about I Brianna. That <laughs> okay. Oh, so that's all for Can, can you, you Dig, dig it? it today. Before our announcements, here's a quick word from one of our sponsors, The Golden Leaf. If you haven't gotten a yearbook yet, you're going to want one. There are many things that you'll remember about this year, and there are many things that make this year memorable. As you make memories this year, we encourage you to always remember by purchasing a 2023 yearbook. Current prices are $95 plus tax. Please visit room B118 to get yours today. Buy a yearbook. Make the most of it. Remember all of it. The Golden, the Golden Leaf. Leaf. <laughs> Before we drop our next episode, be sure to go to our Instagram and give us a follow at MJ underscore Bear Talk. If you'd like to hear us feature a topic or leave a news tip, drop it in our Dropbox outside B118. Here are a few notices before we catch you on our next episode. Reward Day has been postponed to March 17th. That's the Friday after spring break, not tomorrow. Our choirs have competed at the Regional Choir Festival, then headed to the All Sing at Lebanon on Tuesday. Juniors take the ACT at school on March 21st. Sophomores and freshmen will take a practice ACT that day. Over the past weekend, 10 MJHS students attended a YMCA Center for Civic Engagement Conference at the state capitol in Nashville to learn to compete with 800 other students across the state. MJHS students participated in each of the major components of Tennessee state government this weekend to learn more about how Tennessee state government works. We are very proud of each club member who attended the conference and represented our school community with classy character. Congratulations to the students below who received awards for the competition this weekend. Outstanding Governor's Cabinet member Rowan Felton, Outstanding Press member Danny Suarez, Outstanding States Person Otterud Christian, Outstanding States Person Lila Martin. Additionally, we would like to congratulate the MJHS students chosen to lead the next year's conference in the following positions. Speaker of the House Rowan Felton, a grocery clerk of the House Lila Martin, Press Video Editor Danny Suarez. That's all we have for you this week. Keep it classy MJ and have, have a, a very, very great, great day. day.